Hi everyone, it's Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. Thought I'd talk loofers with you today. Um, we are day before Christmas Eve. Uh, obviously, perfect time to make a video on loofers. But um, yeah, so got given a, a loofer this year, as hopefully a few of you are aware from um, the video I did. And unfortunately, uh, we had a particularly wet summer this year in the UK. And although it grew pretty well, it produced some good fruits. Um, pretty much all of them didn't get to ripening stage. They ended up going a little bit to mush instead. Um, out of the whole crop, I've ended up with one. So let me uh, turn the camera around and show you. Right, so uh, I have peeled it already. You can see that we got to the stage where, as I say, the ones on the vine were all going a bit to mush. So I got rid of all of those and just kept this one solitary um, loofer going in the hope that it would get to ripening stage. It got to the pale, um, pale green stroke, uh, you know, light brown in colour which was kind of as far as I was going to get with it, took it off and allowed it to just finish drying indoors. So yeah, peeled, peeled the loofah um, the other day and just thought I'd quickly show you what the next stage is. So I'll just give it a little squeeze around and try and get any seeds out that are in it. So let's uh, give it a little bang. And these seeds here actually, I'll show you now, all the ones that are black, they will actually be ripened enough that you'll be able to use those to sow for next season, grow some more plants. So literally just give the, give the thing a squeeze, give a bang, and have a little look in there, can't see any more seeds. Just want to give it a little bang around. Oh, there we are, last couple coming out. So that looks pretty clean in there. And then the next stage is you just want to give it a, a bit of a wash because See how this is sort of a slightly green coloration? Well, that's come from sort of these internal fibers, which when you actually peel it, it has a bit of a, leaves it with a bit of a slimy texture. If you imagine, I mean, essentially this is like a gourd or squash, cucumber type family. So it has sort of this slimy covering to it. So by giving it a, a bit of a wash in the washing up liquid, that will help take away some of the uh, um, griminess to it. And then after we've washed in the uh, soap, then want to wash it in some clean water. So let me just do that for you. Okay, so we're just giving it a good old wash down. And actually, as soon as you get it into this water, you can kind of feel that sliminess coming back. Um, but equally, you can see that it's going a slightly whiter coloration as we get rid of some of those impurities but you also notice water level's gone down massively that's because now we've got this sort of sponge like texture it does absorb a lot so yeah we'll just keep washing it for a, another minute or so right so giving it a good old wash in some soap uh, some people um, they do uh, end up using some bleach on the loofers just to try and whiten them up but to be honest I'd rather not so uh, yeah having having put it through the soapy water then just in normal water just to clean it down and that's what you're left with so you can still see there's a little bit of discoloration but you know it's a it's a natural product so what's what's wrong with that uh, and now, yeah, essentially you just want to let it dry. So um, having done this last year, uh, I just tend to give it a little pat dry. And then after that, so that takes care of the worst of it. Then after that, I just stick it on the radiator for two or three days. And um, 
you tend to find that as it dries out it will swell, swell up a little bit more and then it's ready to use so uh, let me well let me show you what it looks like once it's dry in a couple of days so here we are Christmas Eve I'm back with you Lufa there are it took a day to dry but look at that lovely little sponge so um, I don't know what else I can add to that as in you know that's the quick process on how to sort out your loofah to turn it from the um, vegetable crop that you've grown into a fully functional sponge so that's it well this as this is the second year now of growing loofahs um, certainly if you've got some questions and you know feel free to send them over to me I can uh, certainly do my best to answer them for you uh, last year was you know first year of growing them um, not successful on actually producing a crop this year well as it turned out um, I got given a plant and we were successful so yeah um, any questions send them over to me and say I'll, I'll do my best to sort of help you out and shed a bit of knowledge that I have on uh, loofers with you uh, certainly if you like what I'm doing then please subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on any future videos that I'm doing and you know always say it but just have fun doing your gardening or um, planning your gardening for next year um, so so we're Christmas Eve so uh, enjoy your Christmas and happy new year and I'll see you for next year so till then take care bye for now